Good night to you. <laughs> uh, it's it's that time of the day again where we gotta do the live. But I was just in the middle of uh, fixing me a cup of coffee, so just uh, bear with me there while everybody else jumps in. Thank you. How's your day going, by the way? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Hey Sam, how's it going? <laughs> Uh, Bruno, Simonelli, and Robert, how's everybody going? Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And Christian, how are you going, buddy? Yeah, see, the joys of working from home is um, the coffee around here is so cheap. So, yeah, we fix it in the way. I'm really hoping you're having a fantastic day, by the way. And, um, you know, you, it's, it's almost a quarter to... Um, it's almost a quarter to weekend, isn't it? All right, let me just settle down. Let me just settle down and um, yeah, let's get this show started. How's everybody doing, by the way? And goods in the hoods, not misunderstood. <laughs> Fantastic, good stuff. Paul Carroll is in the house. Thank you so much, man. How are you going? Um, there's a lot of people joining us there. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Yeah, I was just... Fixing me up a coffee so that we can get started. All right. Thank you so much for those that are tuning in right now. And if this is your first time tuning into the Lunch and Learn, guys, you are most welcome. You're going to be in for a really good, um, you know, 30 minutes. I think today we are talking about, I think I wrote it down somewhere. Let me check. Yes, 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 yes. How to multiply your success. Um, you know, doing things that you actually do every single day um, of your life and how that would actually impact your success as a business person. All right. So you might have seen one of the things that I'm doing. I'm saving money uh, <laughs> by working at home. And so I'm not paying for coffees out there. Now, if this is your first time to encounter the lunch and learn, guys, my name is Prosper Tarovinga and I help businesses like yourself to, first of all, grow using uh, digital marketing strategies. All right. So I help you to actually, um, you know, curate and create your online footprint so that you can optimize it for business growth and profit. What I also do do is every single day, um, you know, at 2 p.m. AEST, I sit here for 30 minutes with, um, you know, people that I think I'm creating and relating for so that we can discuss how I can help you make more money with less struggle. OK, I'll help you build systems in your business that will actually help you operate on autopilot. But you got to put in the work first. All right. I'm just one of those people that helps you generate leads and revenue. And basically you get to work around the clock with PR and a lot of branding as you have seen how I've created my own personal brand into semi celebrity um, you know status and I'm also a consultant that really works from the heart so I see Kirsty has just joined in Michelle Michael how are you guys doing thank you so much for tuning in today we're talking about how you can actually just multiply your success with things that are around you the resources that you actually have and who you are as a person okay a lot of people are going out there in search of the new and shiny a lot of people are going out there in search of you know the latest thing that will bridge them to success but I'm here to tell you that your life story all right. Your life story and your experience has greater importance and market value than you can probably dream of. Look at this situation right now. I'm a guy that came in from Africa and now I'm sort of living the life that you probably, um, you know, um, aspire for, etc., etc. It is my life story we are celebrating right now. It is your life story that your prospects want to hear. Nothing about the latest trick, nothing about, you know, the new and shiny, etc., etc. When you set out to start a business, you build an audience, you engage that audience, and then you sell to that audience. Now, you can only do that by putting your best foot forward. And the only thing that you would know Overall, that nobody else knows is your story, your experience, and what you had to go through in order to be where you are, which is where everybody else is, um, you know, envying or wants to go to. Okay, so you know, if you work with me or if we work together, I'll help you make a total difference in this world. There's a lot of people that are looking to go away from some kind of pain, and you already have that experience within you that you have gone through, and they are willing and able 
to pay so that they don't go through the, the, the stuff that you went through. All right. You might have gone through a divorce. You might have gone through uh, financial hardship. You might have gone through loneliness. You might have gone through anything that you possibly think, you know, somebody might be um, encountering right now. People are more than happy to pay for anything that takes them away from their pain. All right. Now, Rachel, hello from Quebec. How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that um, you're going to get a bit of value from this show today. I'm really talking about stuff that you can use that you already have to multiply your success. All right. First of all, I was joking around about me making a coffee here. At home, it saves a lot of money. Imagine how many cups of coffee that we're buying every single time that we are out there. Four dollars a cup of coffee here in Melbourne. It adds up. Okay, so at the end of the day, you know, there's some things that you can actually utilize that you already have. All right, within you, the resources that you have and the people that you already have that will enhance your um, business, your brand, so that you're not going to run out of steam and you're not going to burn out. Barbara, thank you so much for tuning in. And Julie Ann, how's it going, my loves? Thank you so much. All right, so um, in, in all the things that we're talking about, I want to help you to actually start getting paid for sharing your advice and how to information, all right, in the process that will help you build a lucrative business that is profoundly meaningful for yourself, the people that are around you, and everybody else that cares about you. Jamie Hill, what's going on, my man? All right, cool. So I want you to type in the comments there what you're selling right now and um, the product that you or service that you are providing. Um, can you first off type if it's a product or a service? Don't mention what the service is. Don't mention what the product is. Just type in product or service. And then I would know the kind of people that I'm dealing with. You know why? Because I really want these videos to be interactive. I really want you to get as much value in the 30 minutes as possible. Okay. And if you're watching this video, just type in if what you sell right now, is it a service or is it a product? Okay. Just so that I know who I'm dealing with and then I can just go straight in and actually help you by helping you all right um yesterday i got into a bit of trouble those people that were watching i put up a post you know saying um you know talking about how some people are just calling themselves coaches and um you know how they are just becoming a coach overnight just because of something they would have read uh online etc etc okay the reason why I put up that post is I don't want you to burn out, okay? Because you will soon get caught out. You're going to be living a life that is not meant for you. You're going to be doing things that are you are not accustomed to. Your body will not be at ease and then your body will give you dis-ease, all right? And Jamie, thank you so much, my buddy, for, 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 for um, sharing this video, all right? What I'm trying to say is this is going to be this is not a sprint, guys. It's a marathon, all right? So when you sit out there to, to go and serve other people, for you to, um, you know, be known in your industry and be maybe the expert or the celebrity that you really want to be, don't just think it's for one day, all right? It's not like Christmas where it just comes once a year on one day and that's it. That's going to be your livelihood and you're going to have to answer to the people that you're taking money from. So why not just start off on a really good platform? Why don't you just start off when you actually seen that the, the product or the service that you're putting out there, people actually need it. All right, that way you're not going to be burning out trying to sell that product just because you've got more of it in stock. That way you're not going to be burning out trying to sell or fill a webinar that people don't even want to attend in the first place. All right. So that's the one thing that I noticed that a lot of people, um, you know, yes, there's um, uh, coaches out there that just heard something is possible. And then they go out and they try and replicate that with other people. And eventually you are left high and dry with no message, with no market and no media to actually um, sell the thing that you're selling. A lot of us, you really got to have a lot of product knowledge. You got to know your product inside out. If it is a product, what is actually unique about the thing that you're selling right now? What is the differentiating difference that if, if, if I would go in, it, it was in a shelf, what's the shelf difference of your product? 
How are you totally different from product B that has the same features and benefits? Because if you start competing on the same um, you know, wavelength, the only person who is the cheapest is the person that's going to win. So the only way you're going to have to win is to build you as a brand. All right. Instead of you peddling the product, people need to buy you as a person. Because every time people, you know, tune in or people are coming in, they, they, they're coming to see me. Right now, I have a lot of questions from people wondering, what is it that he actually does? No, they're coming to see me and then I then decide what products they have or what product they can buy from me, depending on the questions they ask. So if you put product first, what if that product stops functioning? What if that product stops becoming in demand? And what if that product is not even in demand? Or if a lot of people are selling that same thing, what would make you stand out on the shelf? Are people talking about that product? Yesterday, I put up a video about word of mouth. How are people talking about your product and, you know, at a barbecue? How are they um, fostering, you know, the growth of your business through what they say and how, uh, uh, what testimonials are they giving about you, that same product? You really got to, you know, formulate all these stories around your stuff so that people get to know you, they get to trust you, and they buy more from you. Nicole, my love, how are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in, by the way. All right. So, so I don't know if this is making sense for the people that are selling products then. Don't go in product first. Go in brand first. People need to know who you are. All right. People need to know who they're buying from so that they can trust that whatever you're going to say is going to be legitimate. That's the reason why a lot of people are burning out. Do you know what I mean? That's the reason why a lot of people are burning out and nobody's buying your stuff. You know why? Because they are lower. Or, 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 you know, the, 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 the dream of owning a business, it's easy. You can just catch the bug by watching me right now. And you'll be like, oh my God, I really want to own my own business. But the hustle, bruh, the hustle is sold separately. All right? So, you, you know, you know you, the, the allure of owning your own business, you know, it, it comes with a big risk. About 50% of all small businesses, they fail in the first five years. And we all know that it is a given truth and I'm not the devil's advocate in this one. Excuse me one second. Jamie says, my wife and I do not sell phone cases much like our marketing business. We sell ourselves as experts on what, uh, on what is for sale. Mm, okay, so your product is phone cases. But the thing also about phone cases, look at this. Every single year, phones change, okay? There's the iPhone 5, there's the iPhone 6, iPhone 7. They're bigger, they're smaller, they're wider, they're shorter, they're whatever. Then that means your product has to change with the, the, the you know, the, the, the changing of the times. You know, if it's a Samsung case, it changes. You know, some of them are curvy, whatever it is, whatever phone you're using right now, you need a different case every time you upgrade. Now, how are people going to know that they get the cases from Jamie Hill and nobody else? So you gotta create the brand behind the product. Does that make sense? People go to Apple to buy phones, computers, etc., etc. They don't go to Macintosh to buy an Apple. Does that make sense? Right. People go, people go to McDonald's to buy a Happy Meal. They don't go to a Happy Meal to, to find McDonald's. So you got to create the person behind so that you are transitioned. When the product stops being of use, you want to still remain in the game and you're not burning out and you haven't wasted all this time, money and effort in trying to sell something that is not going to be valuable to your customers in the next two or three years. All right. Now, uh, Jamie says, bingo, the brand and honors are what brings clients to my wife's business. Good on you, mate. Thanks for uh, coming to census with this one. So like I was saying, the whole allure of you becoming your own boss, um, you know, it, it, it takes everybody else. It's like it's contagious. You know what I mean? But the hustle, guys, is sold separately. You've got to stick out for your brand and you really want to avoid the few mistakes that a lot of businesses, um, you know, are probably making. And one of them is they are inaccurately gauging demand. How do you know that people actually want the product that you're selling? How do you measure the needs, the want, that the market is really hungry and they're climbing all over each other for the product that you're selling? 
So before you're launching, test the demand of your product and your service with a wider range of people, not just, um, you know, your, your, your mother, your father, because they're just going to be too polite to tell you that your product stinks. Go in and get the market to actually evaluate if your product is needed or not. All right, get people that are going to be brutally honest with you because some people are just stuck with um, a product that nobody touches. Some people are stuck with books that nobody touches in the bookshelf. Some people are stuck with an app that nobody touches in their iPhone. Gauge the demand first of the product. And how do you do that if you haven't created an, an audience that you can test if the product is needed or not? All right, that's where your brand comes in. Your brand is the one that then allows you to test the demand, test the need for your product, and then you go all in. All right? And sometimes we're entering a crowded market without a distinct competitive advantage. That's the reason why I asked, what is the shelf difference of your product? What is unique about your service delivery? What is unique about the actual service that you're putting out there? And what are you doing after hours to show that you're not just hooking up with your brand. People are watching. People are watching. We now live outside a 24 hour box. So if you think that maybe if you're in a group and you're arguing with people and then um, you, you go in onto your profile and you pretend to be nice and, and tidy, people, people, people can see through that BS. All right, so you want to make sure that, you know, your product is unique. You want to make sure the delivery is unique. You know all those aspects and how you actually differentiate yourself from your competition. And if you're entering into a, a, a crowded market, what is your unique selling proposition? Do you know what I mean? Assess factors like what is the price? What is the, the, the taste of the, of, of the product you're selling? What's the decor? What are real people actually saying about the product? What are people saying about this life? Is it too long? Is it, is it full of content? Or is it a waste of people's time? There's no point in me just coming in here if I don't get feedback from the people that are actually consuming the content. So you've got to go in and ask the market because you as an entrepreneur, you're like a president. All right. The, 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 the longer you stay in power is people that are voting for you with their credit cards. Now, if people stop voting, you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out where did you go wrong? Was it your delivery? Was it the product itself? Do people still want it? Was it the test, the speed, the service, whatever it was, you need to know all those things. And you need to determine how you can sell your business and tell it apart from everybody else who has been. That's why there's a lot of grand opening, grand closing, because people are not taking the time to figure out what is their message? What is the market that they're going to be sending that message to? And what media is that market receptive to that message? Social media is not marketing, guys. A few likes and, and, and a few shares, that's not it. All right? The banks, I've tried it, man. The banks, they don't accept likes for mortgages. You've got to make sure that you're making, um, you know, a return on investment on your products, on your efforts on social media. Whatever you're doing, there's got to be a return. If it's branding, let's see that with, with the growth and engagement. If it's sales, let's see that in the turnover of your product. Are you watching that space? Because I want to see you guys in 2018. But at the rate at which a lot of you are going, 2018 might not happen. You in business, you probably just go back to work. You know what? You're not paying attention to how you're setting yourself apart from the market. The, 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 the world has become so global in as much as I don't even need to have customers in and around my area. I can have customers in Bujumbura. I can have customers in Angola. I can have customers in England. Nobody's going to have patience for you when you're not ready. So you got to put in, I mean, like right now, I think... Stop, you got to stop what you're doing and go back to the drawing board and figure out exactly how different is my product? How am I going to stand out in 2018? And remember, you're going to be competing with guys like me, you know? Maybe some of them, you haven't heard about them. So you really want to make sure that you've got all your resources in place. You, you really want to make sure that you are telling your story enough. People have to know you. You got to justify your existence. <laughs> right? Um, Kirsty says, I've been noticing that it's not easy to break into new people. Um, that's 
just one that you use your services. Uh, sorry, say, let me say that again. I've been noticing that it's not easy to break into new people. It's just um, one ones that use your services at that moment. But you want to use those people that are using your services to, to, to penetrate into new ground. Because if you don't have turnover, okay, if you don't have clients or people that are paying you money to stay in business, 2018 is never going to happen for you guys. All right, so you really want to make sure that this time around, right, you, you, you put in your whole detailed battle plan. Stop trying to chase waterfalls. Stop trying to chase the next shiny object. Go back and see what have you been creating. Has it got your name on it? Are you passionate enough for it? Because if you're not passionate enough for it, you're not going to stick around when people tell you no. All right? And whatever you've been reading, it's enough. Enough reading, enough consuming. Start executing. Because all you, what I'm saying right now, I'm just reminding you of the things that you already know. You already know all these things, but you're not executing enough. But at the end of the day, you know what's going to happen? 2018 is not going to happen for you. I'm not the devil's advocate. I'm really, really, really just trying to tell you that right now you've got to go back into the um, you know, drawing board and, and, and sharpen your axe or whatever it is for 2018. We've got only about four months left. And if you don't do that, your competition is probably training for this right now. Figure out what your message is. Figure out who needs to hear that message. All right. And then in the process, figure out what media you're going to concentrate and you're going to dominate on. Because I'm supposing that if you are people that are listening to me, um, you know, ever since I started, I know right now you don't have any leads. You don't have any guaranteed income. All right. You, you're studying everything to get ahead. You've got no system to follow. You've got no process to follow. I know that you don't have freedom. You're just tied to your computer right now and to fulfill tasks. I know you're alone. You probably don't have a network or people that are around you are not even supporting you. I know you're struggling to make in, um, enough income. I know all that. All I'm saying is really revisit where you are right now and, and figure out where you want to be and start aligning your business to exactly what it is that you really want to achieve. Are your branding and your marketing and sales efforts properly aligned? Are you doing the right thing to be in front of the people that are supposed to be hearing you? Because not everyone is your customer. That's why you noticed yesterday I, I, I did a pattern break. You know, I, I, I asked people to actually really justify their existence. If they call themselves a coach, have they experienced, the, you know, what they're teaching people out there? And Mike Shavaz, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. I hope you're having a good time. So you really must, you know, you, you, you really must be, um, you know, you, you really must carefully um, and deliberately combine your marketing efforts, your sales efforts, and your branding efforts so that you are well equipped for 2018, guys. All right. Many business people, you know, that don't really clarify their goals, that don't really cl clarify what their branding is, that don't really cl cl clarify what their marketing is, are so going to be trodden on in 2018. I've seen the guys preparing in the background, guys. I've seen them training and they're, they're, they're packing in a lot of heat. All right, so this is what you want to do with your branding. Are you clear on who your potential customer is going to be? In 2018, people are not going to be waiting for you to get ready. All right, people are not going to be waiting for you to get ready. Are you narrowing down on who really needs to hear your message? Are you narrowing down to who really needs to buy your services? Are you narrowing down on what your strengths are? Is that clarity really crucial? Are you narrowing down of what's really important with your product? And I see uh, Nicole says, word up, word up. Uh, Daniel Dice, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, this is the time to actually take a step back and start looking at what am I creating and is this thing going to last? Otherwise, if you're just playing with yourself, I bid you well, it was a good run in 2017. I don't think we're going to hear about you in 2018. All right, you want to be start. You want to really start to be clear about who is going to buy your services, what they're buying from you, and why they should only buy from yourself. 
What language are they speaking? And, and, and do you understand their language? Can you comprend it? Je comprends pas what your customers are talking about right now because the biggest marketing is to start speaking and seeing through your client's eyes. Now, are you seeing what they're seeing? Are you hearing what they're hearing? Are you engaged with that conversation with your content? Are you engaged with that conversation with your inspiration, etc., etc.? Chris Week says getting there. Thank you so much, buddy, for tuning in. All right, so you got to make sure your message is really going into a market right that 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 is you know with whatever media is going to come through every one of us is getting too romantic about facebook instagram or youtube but have you seen what facebook is doing to snapchat right now two years ago yeah two years ago everybody was being told content is king jump on to snapchat but we are watching the biggest internet heist in all of internet um, history. Facebook is literally stealing in broad daylight, um, you know, all the, the IP from for Snapchat. What does that mean for, for the next coming uh, social media, um, you know, uh, platforms? So they've opened up a whole can of worms. All right, so that means anyone, anyone can go into that space and steal whatever they want and then start their own thing, All right? Are you going to be heard in 2018? You're going to need to sharpen your axes, guys. Do them press-ups. Get yourself a mentor or a coach. Read a lot more than you're doing right now. 2018 is upon us. Are you trying your marketing or are you trying to market your brand and, and that connection is not clear? Are you building an audience that's going to transcend to see you through in, 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 in 2018? Mm -hmm. When you're in, 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 in the, when you're on the shelf and your customers are seeing, can they tell you apart from every other has been that is also trying out there on the market? Do you know what I mean? I'm not the devil's advocate. I'm just really, really wanting that I, this engagement that I have right now, we carry it on to 2018 and it would, it would make me so sad that you, you, you didn't make them, you know, you didn't cross the line. Yeah. So your web, um, you know, your web content, your social media, whatever you're putting out there on, on the, you know, on the Twitter webs there, they should all move together and say the same story. Richard Day, Bambo, 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 Gunjan. You know? So after that, are you making sales? Because sales is the lifeline of your business. Are you actually making sales? Are people actually lining up outside your door to, 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 to buy what you're offering? Yeah? They say that uh, fish and companies start smelling after three days. Are you making sure that your customers are kept engaged? Are you putting out the, the content that will let them know that you are fresh and you're, you're always existent? Do your sales match up to the branding and marketing efforts that you're putting out there? Is your toolkit or whatever you're using right now consistent to your message and to, to the people that you want that message to reach out to? We don't have that much time left in 2017, so... Stop, stop anticipating that 2017 is going to happen. Let's start working towards 2018. I really, really want to help you make a lot more money with less struggle, guys. And the first part, the first part that I see a lot of people failing is because they are trying to do something that was not meant for them at the core. Your life story and your experience have greater market value than you could probably ever dream of you can teach people to go away from a pain all right because everyone is always trying to run away from a pain and you would have escaped something in your life that you can teach somebody in 30 minutes or in 40 minutes or on a live like this all right so you can actually start getting paid for sharing your how-to information and in the process you build a lucrative business that is profoundly meaningful because you're actually helping people by helping them.
If you find yourself selling things that you cannot pronounce, you've already lost the battle. All right? I really want you to win, guys. I really, really, really want you to win. And I really want to see every single one of you guys in 2018, you know, doing it, loving it, and, and, and having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. But you've got to really audit yourself. Figure out what are you good at, what have you experienced, and what can you impart. Because in life, we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. All right? So when you've lived... And, and you've learned all the lessons, you then contribute to humanity. All right? A lot of us are not doing their parts to contribute. That's why the world is effed up. If every one of us is pulling their strength and really bringing in the best that they can help and share other people and share to other people because how we learn as human beings is through experience and through, um, you know, failing and making mistakes. But we can't make all the mistakes. And we can't experience everything else. But you probably have experienced something that you can teach someone so that they too can have a happier existence. I really want you to win. Like seriously. So if, if, if this video has actually caught you, you know, unawares as to what should you do next. Um, I think we need to have a bit of a chat. And, you know, look out what your game strategy is going to be for 2016. All right. How to stop really chasing for people and really start connecting to the people that actually, um, you know, would want to hear from you. Yeah. So that you're not wasting your time. You're not wasting all the efforts that you have and how to actually streamline the process of getting in front of the people that really want to hear your message. That will then result in a lot more sales and you actually making a living doing what you absolutely love. This is an open invitation. If you really want to really have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, and if you want to make more sales, even if you're brand new or we really start from the, from, from the beginning, I want this to be the benchmark to make you realize that I want to work with you in 2018. I want you to be of genuine help to everybody else that's going to be around you. All right, and then we'll complete and create a blueprint. That is the most powerful method that you can use to sell to other people based on your experience. People are always trying to run away from pain. You have experienced things in your life that you can shortcut that, that their learning um, you know, curve. Yeah? Does that sound good? If it does, hombre, I want you to type in blueprint at the bottom so that we can continue this conversation and see how we can actually start making 2018 the best year that has ever happened to you. I really want you to win. Let's do this together, guys. See you, see you in the comments below.